Hey guys, hey beautiful people. So in this video, I'm going to do 50 facts about me so you can get to know me. I should have done this before, but um, I've actually thought, you know what, what's 50 facts about me? I don't even know. So then um, I gave it a thought and here we go. We're going to start now. Guys, number one is I have no tattoos. I'm guessing if I would have had pocket money younger, I would probably have like eight or nine. But yeah, I have no tattoos, but I do want... I do want some tattoos, so I want one on my wrist, I want one here, you know, like on the side, like here, I want one on my foot, I want one like, just, you know where the bikini line is, but I actually haven't got it, but at the moment I have no tattoo. My first time catching a plane was in 2006 when I went to Colombia and actually threw up on my clothes and I, I was holding the bag so tight and I was just so scared and I was like, oh my god, what is this feeling? And yeah. I threw up on my clothes, not nice. I actually have dimples, don't know if you can see them, wait. Yeah, yeah, I, I got dimples guys. My hair is virgin, this is my natural colour, I've never dyed it because first of all, I don't have the patience to like maintain it. Like being blonde, I know being blonde is very fashionable but it's hard to maintain it like and then you see people with half blonde half black and you just think what are you doing with yourself at least maintain at least book the hairdressers on time nah so my hair is virgin but i might dye it you know if i got more time on my hands you know keep it nice keep it cute keep looking classy i have never broken a bone touch wood I didn't know how to talk to a boy until the age of 14 and um, my friends would talk to boys thinking they were me so it was a bit weird because um, I don't even know how the boy would get my phone number and then my phone would start ringing and then I would ignore it and then my girls would be like who's who's calling you and then they would start talking and then the boy thinks it's me but then it's like they're having a two hour conversation and then I'm thinking what's gonna happen when this boy sees me because he thinks it's me and then when I see the boy ah. Oh, I would have to hide for my life. I would be running for my life because I couldn't even look a boy in the eyes. I'm like, oh, I thought boys were like little aliens. I am obsessed with identical twins. I actually have identical twins in my family. So my two aunties are identical twins and I actually want to have two identical twin boys. I can't wait. I'm actually really funny when you get to know me. And um, one time I was in math class in school and the boy sat next to me. I was making so much jokes that the boy next to me actually snorted. And he snorted so hard he ended up with bulgy in his eye. And I was like screaming hysterically. And it was nasty. His name was Jerome. Ew, Jerome, you nasty. In school, Primark, Primark pencils were like a trend. And they were like all these different colours. Yellow, green, blue, red, purple, orange, black, white. So then the girls used to wear, um, I used to have all the colours and then there used to be like these glasses that I used to wear on top like, and then you would do like a messy bun and whatever and in winter the girls used to wear like plastic bags because it was so cold so we used to wear plastic bags and then put our plimsolls and my mum used to think what's wrong with you just buy like some boots for the winter and I was like no it has to be these lovely cute and now I'm just like oh like we were actually wearing plastic bags on top of our socks to keep ourselves insulated because it was just so cold just i don't know weird 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 so i actually went to a catholic school and um i actually got a g which is a fail and then i had to reset it and i got an f so um i didn't understand mark's gospel I actually want to have three pet chickens. I want to have these three pet chickens. I'm going to call them Harry, Fiona and William. And one's going to be like, they're all going to be chubby and have lots of feathers. And my family won't be able to gobble them up and make chicken soup because that's what they do back home. I'm like, no, you're not. They're pets. I love hot chocolate. Once I went on a date to a bar and I ordered a hot chocolate. My star sign is Cancer and my birthday is on the 23rd of June. Up until now, Central Park is my favourite park in the whole wide world. 
I don't know how to apply false lashes and when I've tried to um, I've ruined my eye makeup, glue goes everywhere, it gets sticky, it just becomes a big mess so I need to order magnetic eyelashes I used to play in Marriott Hotel when I was a kid I would love to work with endangered animals like rhinos, hippos, orangutans, uh, mountain gorillas, all of that my first job I ever had was as a wedding caterer and it was so much fun, it was super duper cool, it was so lovely but I think after the first 20 weddings that you see you're just like yeah whatever, it's another wedding dress I don't like baked beans, like I'm not, if I have it in a cafe then I have it in a cafe if someone's having it and someone's like yeah let's have baked beans then I'll say okay but I'm not one I bought baked beans before and they always end up in the cabinet like I do not like baked beans, like, like there's no sauciness to it I will make a list of everything, like to-do list, shopping list, things that need to get done, um, collection of words, let's just put in a list. I don't like ginger beer. As a child I used to read loads and I used to love reading all the books by Jacqueline Wilson and I also read um, a series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket. I taught myself how to lift my eyebrow, let me show you. Wait, oh, the other one's moving, hold up. Wait, no. Wait, wait. Did you see that, yeah? When I was at uni, um, they thought I was dyslexic, so then I had to have um, an appointment with a psychologist, and then I had to do like all these different puzzles and different assessments to see if I was dyslexic. And um, I was doing all these puzzles and assessments and whatever, um, for two three hours and you know what the outcome was that i read too slow and i was just like what and the assessment to see the psychologist cost 200 pounds 250 300 pounds and um and then i was like so now what what does this mean she says oh i can give you a letter which means you can get extra time in um in exams but i never got the letter i just i just left the uni i, I couldn't hack it because it was in the north of england and i miss london too much so then i came back to london um but yeah, shout out to everyone that's got this next year. Go get your PhD, go get your masters, go get ace ace the school system if you're into that. Like if you're into writing essays, whatever, you need that extra time, take it, why not? If if I had contact with a psychologist, I would have got the letter, why not? Be like, ha ha ha, I get extra time in in um in exams and that. When it was my 16th birthday, so my 16th birthday was on Wednesday, and then on Thursday I had a geography exam. And I got so drunk on the Wednesday that like, when I actually went to do my exam, I did half now and then I was like, oh. I was so dehydrated. I um I just went to sleep, so I failed geography and I got itchy. I've been wearing glasses since the fourth grade and I actually don't like it. Only recently I started wearing contacts. And um, when I used to go out with my cousin, she wears glasses too. So then um, we would actually take turns because I didn't like wearing glasses, didn't think they were cool and um, we would take turns so we would go out on a Friday or whatever go out to like social gatherings whatever and then um, we would take turns so one of us would wear our glasses and the other one wouldn't and then we'd take turns so um, she would literally be my eyes, like my eyesight because I would literally be relying on her I'd be like, you don't look nice, I'm, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know I can literally binge on Netflix like you can't even imagine. I will start a series, then I'll finish the other one. And um, one time I did 12, one time I stayed up and I watched 12 episodes of Suits. And after that, I binge so much, I got put off and I didn't finish it. I don't like playing video games unless it's um, the little car racing or motor racing. I like that. That's cool. That, that has me entertained. I once dropped my phone. Um, I, I once dropped my phone down the toilet. I picked it up and then I put it in a big jar of rice for a whole week, and it actually worked. I once wore braces in in the tenth grade. I wore braces for six months, and then um, I literally had the braces start pack, so I'd have like the mouthwash, and um, uh, you know, like the little sticks to take to remove the food. And then once I would re be removing the food and then one of the girls, one of my girls was really fascinated with the whole shebang, like the whole like 
like you know cleaning your teeth and that and then one time yeah i was removing food and then food literally flew out into her eye and she i was like whoa sorry babes but you like i'm doing my thing in the mirror and she's like really close babes come on man like you know it's a hazard it's under construction like i'm cleaning it out and you're like babe her the food flew straight into her eye her name was joy that was that was funny when I was a child, I went to Scotland and um, I made a friend, her name was Hayley and um, we actually ended up becoming pen pals so pen pals is when you write letters to each other so we actually wrote letters to each other for like a year, can you imagine? I was like six If I'm using a public toilet or I'm at work, I always squat like, like my squat game is strong I actually can't draw but I can draw stick men, I can draw a little house I can draw a little duck with a little pathway and that is all the drawing I can do. I have never seen a shooting star in my life. This is because my eyes are whack. Like I have poor eyesight. I went to India and like where we were staying there was like a roof terrace. And um, in the evenings everyone would go up there and they're like oh yeah shooting star. Shooting. I'm like where? I couldn't see a shooting star because of my eyes. So yeah. So if you get to see a shooting star, you are so, so lucky because, yeah. I can't sing to save my life, but I can do a thing, sing, 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 a little groovy, groovy, but um, I can't sing. I, yeah. Um, I always wanted to get married in Vegas. So um, I haven't been to Vegas yet, but um, yeah, you know, with, with Elvis Presley and... Um, why not why not you know what it's just crazy because everyone's be everyone you see people having these cinderella type of weddings and they spend so much money and they don't even last they last six months to a year and um yeah people just don't last in in marriages so i'm just like okay cool so if i get married in vegas and it lasts then 10 years later i'll do something nice like I don't know, like a wedding at, on the beach or, you know, you know, go with the flow. I'm actually not a sweet tooth, but I love crisps. Oh, crisps are my favourite. Salt and vinegar, prawn and cocktail, Doritos, Pringles, uh, is it Monster Munch? I love them all. So in school, we actually learned how to play um, a Titanic. So I literally can play one verse of the Titanic on the piano, which is good. I have never had surgery. I know all these girls that get surgery and within six months they're already pregnant, literally. So um, I might get surgery once I have my children. I might get my nunga nungas done. Um, but yeah, let's just wait and see. My favorite color is pink. I have swallowed my tongue piercing twice. Um, I actually had the surface piercing, so it's not the one that goes straight through, it's just the one that's curved. And you know what, I loved it. I used to love playing with it, um, but then I thought, you know what, if I'm going to go and do it again, third time lucky, you know what, it, 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 it's uncomfortable, it hurts, you can't speak for a week, your tongue is swollen, you can't eat for a week. And then I thought, you know what, this is a joke, like I'm done. I also had the smiley here, underneath here. That was cute, it was a bit weird, but... Um, I kept having like a metallic taste in my mouth, so I removed that. So yeah. I'm learning how to drive, guys. Um, people were like, why didn't you do this earlier? You know what? That night bus from South London wasn't that bad. Like, you know, when you left the club and whatever, and I did a walk of shame, like it wasn't it wasn't that bad. Like, I still look cute at 7 a.m. anyways. So I've actually got a picture where like where on Facebook we're like a 7 a.m. where everyone just left the club and honestly you can't even tell it's the, like it's 7 a.m. and we just left the club like you can't even tell like we're all smiling actually the girls are very giggly I'm just chilling in the it's a cute picture you know what I might even attach that picture and and tell me if you think we look drunk or we look yeah you can't tell I don't smoke nada de nada like literally I don't smoke once um I went to see my friend and I was with my friends and um and they started smoking and they're like like his boy was like to him like where'd you get these girls these girls don't smoke but um yeah like I'm the coolest girl around though 
but I don't smoke so don't ever feel in a position where like you're pressured to do something pressure like that's just nonsense because if you don't like something you just say no and that is it so yeah but like you know the boy that said that his lips are like brown now or is it green what color do do lips go is it dark purple or something he just smokes so so much and it's just such a shame because all my all my friends liked him so i'm just like oh shame on you boo boo i was born in colombia but i grew up in london so i've had all my education in london so yeah I'm a time freak. I'm literally a time freak. I will set alarms for everything. Um, there's literally a clock in every room. I set for the bathroom. Yeah. I either talk too much or I talk too little. I think there's no in-betweens. I think it depends who I'm with or um, my mood or I don't know if I like you. I can literally find out your life story in seven to eight minutes. So I'll literally start by what do you do? Uh, where have you had your best holiday? Do you have any siblings? What do your siblings do? And um, yeah. And then what other questions would I ask? Those are my top questions. So my top questions are what do you do? Do you have any siblings? Where have you had your best holiday? Um, and then obviously from there people start talking and then yeah. So if you don't, if you want to get to know someone, and you want to ask those questions, then honestly, those those questions are an opener, and then you can figure out, find out more, and go deeper and deeper and deeper. If you like their vibe. Okay, so last two is, I love to salsa. Your girl can dance salsa really, really well. I don't go out anymore, but you know once you hit the club and um i speak fluent spanish guys i love wearing fluffy pjs and uh fluffy socks and i think it's a mood so i'm going to show you actually wait 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 and my fluffy socks and that's it guys guys that is it but i want to know about you tell me uh what was your first job what is your favorite color what is your favorite fruit and vegetable um what else do i want to know about you tell me tell me tell me anything um yeah tell me what part of the world are you from like i don't know tell me something i've told you a lot like a lot so yeah lots of love